Hi, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. This week, let's talk about Elephant, Project Baby, and Hidden Pleasures. You can watch any of these right now on our YouTube Primetime channel. First up, Elephant. Ну давай. Чуть не себе. Эхо! David! <laughs> Beautifully shot above the Polish countryside, Elephant tells the story of Bartek, a 22-year-old man who runs a small horse farm. When both his father and sister suddenly leave, sending his mother into an emotional breakdown, Bartek is forced to become the head of the household. After the sudden death of a neighbor, he is introduced to the deceased son, David, who is returned home for the funeral. David's independence and recklessness fascinate Bartek. The two soon begin to fall in love, but as they attempt to hide their romance, they end up navigating a homophobic rural environment. Personal family obligations and the need to prioritize a future above all else. Director and screenwriter Camille Karaziki paints an intimate and subtle portrait of a blossoming relationship in this award-winning romantic drama, following one young man torn between family obligations and his own freedom. Next up, Project Baby. Get in my. Get baby there. Yeah, did it. And baby, they here. They feel a little bit more hidden. Jeg troede, vi var to om det her projekt. Og du sagde, du var frisk. Vi har arbejdet på det i et år. Sebastian, børn, det kan ikke lide mig. Og jeg tror ikke, at du er til at være far. Og det er også mærkeligt, at de skal have to fædre og to mødre, og det... Kan du ikke bare spise den fisk for min skyld? A 24-minute short film from Danish director Johannes Pico Haynes, Project Baby follows a gay couple who are looking to expand their family. Christian and Sebastian have been meeting with potential mothers in the hopes of having a child, but have found that most of these women are only looking for sperm donors and not involved father figures. When they arrive at the home of a lesbian couple who are open to the idea of raising a rainbow child, things take an unexpectedly tense turn. Get ready for an evening of prejudice, confusion, and fish eggs. Finally, hidden pleasures. El otro día me encontré una amiga mía por la gran vía muy degustada y digo, "Indifonza, ¿qué hace por aquí?" Dice, "Cállate, Paco." 
que me voy a ahogar. Digo, ¿por qué te vas a ahogar, mariquita? Dice, porque le debo a todo el mundo. Estoy en Tampa. Digo, ¿y por eso te vas a ahogar? Que espere, ya le pagará. Dice, no, yo me ahogo. Digo, ¿aquí en Madrid en dónde? Si no hay puerto. En el río Manzanar, ¿eh? Digo, bueno, yo voy contigo. Nunca he visto una mariquita ahogarse. Hija mía, cuando llegamos al río yo no lo creía que se iba a ahogar. Digo, a ver, mona, ¿cómo te va a ahogar? Dice, con una piedra. Digo, ¿con una piedra? Mariquita, si aquí en el río no hay piedra. Dos horas se pegó la tía buscando la piedra. Hasta que la encontró una piedra así de grande. Ata una cuerda, se la ata ya al cuello. Digo, a ver, mona, tírate. ¿A que no eres capaz? Hija mía, ni corta ni perezosa, tira la tía la piedra al río y se va al fondo. Y yo asustada, digo, ¿y qué le digo yo a la madre ahora? ¿Y con qué cara? Pues es verdad. La mariquita se ahogó. Hija mía, de buena primera sale la mariquita corriendo para arriba. Digo, mariquita, no te ahogaba. Dice, cállate, que abajo hay un buzo que le debo diez duros, nena. <risa> Cómo te diviertes, ¿eh? Siempre me han hecho mucha gracia las mariquitas. Bueno, vámonos a otro sitio. ¿Pero por qué? Si esto es muy gracioso. El otro sitio te va a gustar mucho más. Highly controversial at the time of its release in 1977, Hidden Pleasures is one of the first films in the history of Spanish cinema to prominently feature gay characters and themes. Directed by acclaimed underground filmmaker Eloy de la Iglesia, the film stars Simón Andreu as Eduardo, a wealthy but lonely, deeply closeted bank manager in his 40s. Though he's secretive about his sex life, Eduardo uses his social and economic position to win over young men. In one of his regular cruising sessions, he meets and falls head over heels for Miguel, an attractive young straight guy played by Tony Fuentes. As Eduardo's infatuation with the young man grows deeper, it sets up a complicated love triangle between the pair and Miguel's girlfriend, Carmen, not to mention Rosa, the older married neighbor with whom Miguel is having an affair. Though it's clearly a product of the 1970s, Hidden Pleasures was truly radical at the time of its release. While it was initially banned in Spain, it was championed by film critics who opposed the ongoing censorship in the years after dictator Francisco Franco's death. The film's premiere was met with massive street demonstrations by gay activists who came out in support of Eloy de la Iglesia's bold new vision. Have you seen these films? Let us know in the comments what you thought, or look us up on Letterboxd, where you can connect with other queer cinema lovers and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku. Sign up for a free trial to get access to hundreds of gay films, including these recent releases. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of classics and new films, so please like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.